Hello, this is History Shorts with the Artifactual Scholar. Today, I'll be talking about the War of the Three Henrys. During the second half of the 16th century, France was racked by a series of civil wars known as the Wars of Religion. These struggles pitted the French Catholic majority against a small but powerful French Protestant minority known as the Huguenots. By the 1570s, three powerful factions had emerged to contest the religious struggle. The radical Catholic faction was led by Henry of Lorraine, Duke of Guise. The Huguenot faction was headed by King Henry of Navarre, who was a cousin to King Charles IX of France. The third group was the French royal family, the House of Valois, dominated by the Queen Mother, Catherine de' Medici, who often tried to chart a moderate course between the political and religious extremes of the other parties. This religious and political factionalism led to the French wars of religion being among the most destructive religious wars in European history, as Frenchmen killed Frenchmen in a relentless bloodletting. One of the most shocking examples of sectarian violence occurred in Paris in August 1572, when the nobles of France, including most of the prominent Huguenot leaders, had gathered to attend the wedding of Margaret of Valois, the French king's sister, to Henry of Navarre. Seeing an opportunity to eliminate his enemies, Henry of Guise, with the tacit approval of the Queen Mother, orchestrated an anti-Protestant riot that led to Catholic mobs attacking and killing Huguenots in the city. Some 3,000 to 10,000 Huguenots were killed in Paris alone during the St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre, including many Protestant nobles. Henry of Navarre was spared only by the intervention of his wife and a promise to convert to Catholicism, a promise forgotten when the danger had passed. When Charles IX died in 1574, he was succeeded by his brother, who became Henry III of France. Henry III attempted to lessen the religious tensions and civil strife in his realm, but his attempts at moderation were continually thwarted by the religious extremism of powerful nobles such as Henry of Guise, who in 1576 formed the Catholic League and vowed to eradicate Protestantism in France. Despite his marriage to an Austrian princess in 1574, Henry III was unable to produce an heir, and when the king's younger brother died in 1584, it was Henry of Navarre who became the heir presumptive to the French throne. The possibility of a Protestant noble claiming the French throne spurred the Catholic League into renewed action. With the financial and military backing of Spain, the Catholic League began a war to destroy French Protestantism. The Huguenots, for their part, were backed by England and other Protestant states. In 1587, Henry of Guise and the Catholic League forced the king, Henry III, to outlaw Protestantism and invalidate Henry of Navarre's claim to the throne. Guise then led an army that repelled an invasion of Protestant German and Swiss troops, and with the public acclaim gained in his victory, began making territorial and political demands of the king. Henry III denied Guise's demands and forbid the duke from entering Paris, an order that Guise disregarded. When Henry of Guise entered staunchly Catholic Paris in May 1588, he was cheered by a boisterous crowd. King Henry III, realizing his vulnerability, fled the city for the shelter of the Chateau de Blois, south of Paris. Meanwhile, Henry of Guise conspired to eliminate the king and seize the throne for himself. When word of this conspiracy reached the king, he took action. On December 23, 1588, Guise was summoned to attend the king at Blois. When he arrived, Henry of Guise was assassinated by the king's guards as Henry III looked on. The death of Henry of Guise provoked such wrath among the Catholic League that the king was forced to seek refuge with his erstwhile brother-in-law, Henry of Navarre. Despite this protection, Henry III was himself mortally wounded in an assassination attempt in August 1589. As he lay dying, Henry III affirmed that Henry of Navarre was his heir. Henry of Navarre ascended to the throne of France as King Henry IV. For the next four and a half years, Henry fought to secure his position, eventually resorting to the political expedient of converting to Catholicism to gain the support of the citizens of Paris. By the 1590s, the violence of the wars of religion had largely subsided. Henry IV's reign would usher in a period of peace and prosperity in France. His descendants, the Bourbons, would rule over France for the next 200 years until the chaos of the French Revolution. This has been History Shorts. Thanks for watching.